Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for listening to my presentation on the development and validation of a multivariable prediction model based on blood plasma and serum metabolites to discriminate chronic pancreatitis from controls. As you're all aware, chronic pancreatitis is a fibroinflammatory syndrome of the pancreas leading to organ dysfunction, chronic pain, and increased risk for pancreatic cancer, and there's currently no available biomarker for the diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis. We therefore conducted a type 3 study according to tripod guidelines using a LC, sorry, GCMS, LCMS, MS approach on EDTA plasma and a naive Bayes algorithm. Figure one gives you an overview over the um, sub studies conducted. The first so called identification study was uh, conducted in Dresden using 80 chronic pancreatitis patients and 80 controls. The first validation study, which used the same matrix, uh, which was blood plasma, was conducted at three centers in Germany. And the second validation study for validation of the robustness of the assay used serum instead of plasma and was conducted at one center in Greifswald. The alternate panel of metabolites delineated from over 600 metabolites that were identified consisted of eight. Uh, metabolites of different ontology classes, which in some way or the other could be linked to the um, pathogenesis of pancreas disease. And in the interest of time, I'm only going to discuss um, panel C of figure two, which shows you the diagnostic characteristics of our uh, biomarker signature. Um, as per definition, the identification study had an AUC of um, 85% with sensitivity and specificity acceptable for diagnostic biomarker. This uh, performance could be validated in the first validation study with a very similar accuracy of about 85% and was then outperformed in the second validation study, which, as I may remind you, used serum instead of plasma, which was just under 90%. So in conclusion, we um, have shown you a two-step discovery and validation study for a biomarker signature for chronic pancreatitis identified by uh, mass spectrometry. We used the total of 670 patients and controls from three independent cohorts among 620 identified metabolites. We could boil it down to eight metabolites, which if um, comprised in a signature were diagnostic of chronic pancreatitis. This is the first study to our knowledge that identifies and independently validates a metabolomic signature for the diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis and therefore sets the stage to provide the basis for the development of a routine laboratory test for chronic pancreatitis diagnosis. Thank you very much.